Hey, Crawl Spacers, we are live, and look at you guys come in already. We've got Bruce saying, Spider Collections, yes! <laughs> Sarah is so excited to see this. Uh, Sarah is says, hey, everyone, and Bruce says, hi, Sarah. So we have... <laughs> So let's introduce our guests. This is a new segment. I think it would be kind of fun to make this an ongoing segment where we spotlight spider collectors. So uh, to my right in the in the box <laughs> is Tristan. What's going on, Tristan? How are you, man? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Brad? I'm good. Thank you for coming on. Of course. Thank you for having me. And we have Marvin, also a giant spider collector. Welcome, Marvin. How are you, buddy? Hey, happy to be here. Thank you. We've all we've been Facebook friends for a little bit now, and I, I was like, why don't I get these two together? And we we talk about what we love, which is Spider-Man collections. So um, Tristan was just in the news. You just became the Guinness Book of World Record holder for the most spider stuff, right? That's right. Yes, yeah. uh, the yeah. most Spider-Man memorabilia. So uh, that that is in the 2020 book or because I, I saw you hold up the printed copy. It's it, it's out right now, isn't it? The 2021 book that just came out about two weeks ago. Okay. You're in the future. You're in the nice. 2021 book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. So how did that come about? How did you get in the Guinness Book of World Record book? Talk about that so for me. I, I have um, a complete run of all the Spider-Man ongoing titles. And awesome. uh, that's what I got was Amazing Spider-Man number one. And, and I got that by a group of friends pitching in. Um, my uh -huh. local comic shop secret headquarters here in Los Angeles got a copy in, and they asked me if I wanted it. But as we were talking about my really patient wife before we started broadcasting, <laughs> you know, we were about to get married, and I really couldn't justify spending the amount of money. It was a really good price, but I just couldn't justify it. So yeah. I lamented that to a buddy of mine, and he kind of just got a, a group of friends together. They pitched in, and they, they got the issue for me. Um, yeah. And then at that point, another friend was like, well, now what? Isn't that the... You chase the dragon, and, and now what, what do you have left? Yeah. Uh, and then they asked, you know, well, who has the Guinness World Record? And I was like, well, I, I, I guarantee I don't have enough to, you know, I, I, I don't even know if I have as much as Marvin or, or somebody else, you know. But um, I looked up the record, and it was 2,000. Um, and if you just sort of add up the comic books alone, I had more than the amount yeah. for that. So I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. Um, That's awesome. It, yeah. It, it took a long time. It's a lot of work. Uh it's been about, a, it was about a year process just to do the attempt. And then it takes about six months after that to kind of get verified and all that stuff. Yeah. What That's what awesome. I'm finding a theme is, Marvin, you're married also, right? Yeah, yeah. All, all three of Bless us are married heart. dudes. How did we find women that'll put up with our spider collections is the question. Marvin, you go first. What? How'd, <laughs> oh, did we all? for my spider collection. Oh, she married for the collection. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we all married enablers, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah. No, she, uh, she's very, uh, she, she loves it. It makes me happy. So I, I yeah. couldn't ask for a better wife. Yeah. That's awesome. So. so let's do an origin story of you guys. Let's, let's find out the first time you discovered Spider-Man for me, it was the electric company in the late seventies. Tristan, how about you? When did you first discover Spidey? It was probably the animated series in the nineties. So early nineties for me, um, I'd started yeah. reading the Punisher and just sort of seeing his guest appearances and the Punisher, mm -hmm. and then sort of slowly transitioned over to a, a Spidey fan. Awesome. Marvin, how about you? When did you discover the webhead? Uh, my uncle oh. actually gave me a couple of Spider-Man comics, and then I met my buddy Albert here, and, and oh, yeah? he collected Spider-Man too. And, man, we, we hit it off, and we started going everywhere to get Spidey stuff. So. Oh, that's awesome. You kind of broke yeah. up for a second. What, what year was that, did you say? I'm sorry, 1991. 91. So I'm the old guy in here. What's up with this? I'm back in the seventies. You guys are nineties guys. So did it, did it, uh, was there a year that just started adding up? Like every time you went to the store, you got something. Was it, were you like a teenager? Or when did the, the collection really start growing? Whoever wants to start. For me, it was, it was it, the collection just started as, as reading the comics and then sort of, yeah. um, you know, Rob Liefeld has a, a pretty good podcast going right now. Um, and he sort of equates, he doesn't see himself as a collector. He views himself as sort of a consumer. And okay. I really like that idea. And so for me, I yeah. just wanted to consume every story I could consume for Spider-Man. Um, and right. so starting at a very early age, I got, you know, I had a job mowing lawns, babysitting, uh, paper route, anything I could do to get money to buy comic books. Um, yeah. And so for me, it was more of just, before it was even a collection, it was just consuming these stories and then just wanted to kind of take care of them. And then, you know, I worked at a comic shop in high school, so that helped me oh. sort of build 
a lot of my back issue uh, collection back then. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think at a certain point, when other folks started realizing I was a big Spider-Man fan, whether it was in high school, college, or even now, um, a lot of my collection is gifts. So a lot of it's just something, mm. hey, I had this when I was a kid. I thought you might like it. That's cool. Marvin, how about you? When did it really start uh, steamrolling that you really started getting actually, a lot of stuff? Actually, when I met Albert, because he was, just, like okay. I said, he was a Spider-Man guy too. And uh, I, I wanted, you know, we had a little competition on who could find the best stuff. Oh, know, so. So, uh, so, I mean, I was young when I started collecting and I was always one of those guys, um, even at, at 11 years old, when I first started collecting, I never wanted to open anything. You know, I was always a collector. I was never like, I never played with my stuff. I still oh. have some things that, you know, from when I legit first started collecting when I was 11 years old That's and, cool. uh, yeah, I was always a collector and I always wanted more and more and more. And, uh, it turned into this, you know, that's so. funny. We, we have some comments in the chat. Uh, oh, here we go. Bruce says he uh, started collecting the 60s with the animated series with the best theme song. I would agree. <laughs> uh, Ryan says, consumer rights, how very true. We, If Spider-Man was a buffet, we are eating till we're stuffed. <laughs> I definitely overserved these days. No doubt. Sarah says the Raimi movie. Then, he got, then she got into the essential Spider-Man reprints and fell in love with the character. Mike got in love with it with the uh, 70s and 80s and uh including the hulk yes that's an interesting question who's your number two guy mine's the hulk do you guys have a number two hero um i wasn't prepared for this question <laughs> um, <laughs> i really like dr strange i'm a big dr strange fan i mean really yeah. all the marvel I, I really uh captain america has a, a pretty big uh place in my heart yeah marvin you got a number two guy I do. I, I always liked Iceman uh, just because of the Amazing okay. Friends cartoons. I always liked Iceman. Yeah. But when it comes to collecting, I never wanted to collect anything but Spidey. So I would never collect anything else. But I did, you know, I liked Iceman. That's cool. What about Firestar? <laughs> <laughs> that's That's got to be number three. <laughs> So uh, let's see, what else do I want? Do you guys keep up with the current books? Are you guys like every month Amazing comes in? That's right. Every uh, I, I, I try as hard as I can to make it to the shop every Wednesday, if possible. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I definitely uh, keep up with it. Marvin, are you are you up to date? Are you, do you still get the comics or is it just collectibles that you like? Oh, Marvin, can you hear me? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. You broke up oh. there for a second. Oh, um, I said, are, do you keep up with the, the, the current comics or is it just collectibles at this point? I don't. I stopped collecting comics probably 10 years ago. I sold. Oh, wow. I, I, had, I was like 20 books away from a full run. I ended up selling them and uh, I focused more on toys and displays and art and stuff like that. I mean, I'll wow. still buy stuff um, that I think I might like to read and uh, I will do that. But I don't buy issue, you know, issue to issue. Was was it one more day that killed it for you? That was about 10 years ago. I mean, did the deal with the devil end it for you too, man? <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you know what? I yeah. got more, as I got older, I got more into buying and selling and oh. the comics for me were just harder to, to sell. You know, I, I would always lose money and I didn't want to do that anymore. Oh, you know? yeah. So I got, I got more into the toys and art side of it and, uh, yeah. which maintain for me anyway, maintain a little more value. Now your key books are always going to be, you know, they're always going to hold their value, right. but I just got into that side of it a little more. Four, four bucks a book doesn't help things either. When, when I was a kid, it was 60 cents. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Marvin, this may be your wife. If not, you have some explaining to do. Wow. That Marvin is such a hottie. <laughs> <laughs> my wife. That's actually my buddy's wife. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do have some explaining to do, sir. <laughs> oh, Albert, he, he is cute, it. isn't he? There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, All right. Yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> uh, Bruce says the last two to three years of Amazing Spider-Man have been pretty good compared to the last 20 years. I would I would agree. This The Spencer run is, is fun. Um, I wasn't personally a fan of the slot run, but uh, then that lasted 10 years, so. Um, <laughs> let's, let's talk a bit about, I asked you guys about, uh, three of the same questions I'm going to ask you guys, your rarest item, Tristan, what's your rarest item? What do you, what's your, what's your, so 
first thing. Item, I think, would be uh, speaking of original pages and whatnot. Um, here, here, I'll full screen you for this. There we go. Okay. I have a page from um, Marvel Team Up number 67. It's a oh, nice page. Um, and this was a gift. A friend of mine, uh, Greg Karras, he owned a comic shop called Galactic Greg's in uh, Belvoir, uh -huh. Indiana. That's where I worked in high school. Um, he passed away about three years ago. Um, and his wife gave me that as sort of a, you know, oh, a wow. gift from his collection. So I, that, I, I think, you know, being original art, it being John mm -hmm. Byrne, yeah. um, the Bronze Age, and then it uh, personally, it just being from my friend Greg. It's, it's right by our front door when we walk out the door. So that's I awesome. Look at that as I'm exiting and think of my buddy Greg. Yeah. And what, what uh, page is that that's yeah. from Marvel Team Up? What, what is it again? 67. It's, and uh, who, who is he teamed up with? Tigra. Oh yeah, is, didn't they go up against Craven in that nice. one? Yeah, so Craven's in the page, and, and so that's nice. Another, I love Craven, so it's cool having with him in it. You're hopefully, hopefully, we get to see Craven on the big screen in the next Spider-Man movie. That's, that's what it the, sounds the, what like. The talks yeah. is. So, Marvin, what's your uh, rarest item? What are you What are you most proud of? Oh man, people ask me that all the time. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I have a bunch of items that are one of a kind type items. I have, mm -hmm. have over 100, about a hundred original art pages i have some original art covers i got some printing plates that are one of a kind um i got some production molds that are one of a kind and, but what i'm most proud of i actually have a, a convention worn shirt um from john ramita who's my favorite artist oh, and wow. uh I, yeah I, I have that it's all framed up nice so that that means a lot to me nice. just because uh, i know no one else has one you know so but i have yeah. I have a bunch. I have a bunch that that I would consider, you know, like one of a kind type items. That's kind of what yeah. I focus on now. So, yeah. Um, and we're yeah. going to get a tour of this the stuff. I just wanted to interview you guys just a little bit before we start g taking the phone around the collection. Um, any any? That's yeah, right. go ahead, Tristan. So, Marvin, do you have a, a relationship with John Romita then? Because I, I noticed that you do have a lot of pretty unique items in your collection uh, that I'm. I do. I do now. Um, only because of my buddy, my buddy, um, I'm sure if you collect original art, you know, Mike Berkey, mm -hmm. um, he lives right down the road from me. So I met him, I don't know, eight or nine years ago and he's a big Spider-Man collector too. Um, he has a huge collection and we hit it off right away. And, uh, mm -hmm. I kind of ride his coattails when it comes to John. And <laughs> Anytime he goes, yeah, I'll go with him and nice. I would do the same thing. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Road so trip. I, I was, you know, it, like anything else, um, this hobby, you, it, it's all about who you know, you know, and mm. when you come across hard to find items just by people knowing that you like Spider-Man and, and collecting um, what you collect. And I have a lot of people yeah. that contact me, you know, I don't even really have to look for it anymore. People contact me with it, you know, and uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to just ride his coattails uh, to greatness. John Romita, ever since I was little, was my favorite artist and yeah. man, to, to, be able to go visit him and actually sit in his house and talk to him. It's, it, it, it was a dream come true the first time I did it. Wow. And uh, I'm happy. every time it happens, I'm lucky. You know what I mean? That's the Romita road trip that you'll never forget. I mean, that sounds <laughs> awesome. Well, you know, Romita yeah, yeah. was the, on every Spider-Man item in the seventies and eighties, that was Romita's yeah. that you saw. I mean, yeah, in yeah. the nineties, it was more Mac Mark Bagley, but uh, Romita was everywhere. Yeah. And, yeah. And he's, still. For me, he, he was, he, even at a even at a young age, I always liked the older stuff. You know what I yeah. mean. Even when I even in 1991, I liked the 70s stuff. You know, so it was Ramita on everything, like you said. Right. I mean, his his artwork was was the face of Marvel at the time, and and I fell in mm -hmm. love with it. You know, right away, basically. Yep. Sarah is excited for the tour. The tour is coming up. Uh, great taste, says Jonathan with Ramita. I don't think you, I don't. I've never heard anybody say that John Romita is overrated. I don't really care for this. <laughs> I've never, that and Spider-Man fans are divided on pretty much everything. Yeah. So I think when it comes to Romita, I think we all universally love him. I have heard people divided on Dit another yeah, iteration yeah. divided on Ditko, but Romita, I don't think anybody dislikes his art. No. Yeah, plus, so. plus he was, I mean, he's a great guy. He's just a great person yeah. too, you know? So anyone that's ever met him has always said, man, he's so nice. And and Virginia, yeah. uh, his wife is is super nice, and and I, I'm very lucky to 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 know yeah. him. You know, I've tried to get an interview with him several times. He, I think he's pulled it back the the interviews that he does. Uh, but yeah. I, I, I've been doing this podcast since '06, and I interviewed his son, John Romita Jr. And I'll never forget 
he was talking to me on the phone and he just went with his buddy to get a pizza. So he had a pizza on his lap and his buddy was driving and he was doing a podcast interview with me on the phone. <laughs> I just think that was one of the funniest things. Nice. Uh, every, every item, probably not every item, but some items have fun stories with it. Uh, Tristan, you have a fun collectible that has a fun story with it that you can tell. I I, you know, it's another page of original art, which I don't mean to keep going back to, but I, um, yeah. the very first Spider-Man comic I ever read was Web of Spider-Man 126. And okay. for years, I, you know, my first piece of original art was John Amita Jr., um, and I bought it myself after graduating high school with the money my grandparents gave me, which I'm mm -hmm. sure was what they thought I'd be allocating those <laughs> funds for. But um, <laughs> but I uh, kept thinking like the next page I want to own is from the very first comic I ever read. And so I had thought that it was Steve Butler who did the art because he had done a lot of the web of Spider-Man in that area. I must have just committed the wrong artist to name, uh, name to, to memory. And about four years ago, I was watching the Disney XD Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, uh -huh. and I was like, you know, I should look up that page again, see if I could find it, and I could find pages from 121 through 125, and then 127 through 129. So I found Steve Butler on Facebook, and I messaged him, and I was just like, why? <laughs> What's there's nothing special in this issue. It was a Clone Saga. It was the uh, the trial of Peter Parker. There was no reason that I could think of where it would be, you know, hard to find. Um, and he let me know that he actually didn't do the art for it, but they had a fill-in artist, uh, a man named Roy Burdian. Oh. Who, um, after Googling, I found out he also lives in Southern California and he works at uh, DreamWorks. And he had actually directed the episode of Ultimate Spider-Man that I had been watching when I thought to look up the page. Um, and I had a friend, uh, to your point, Marvin, uh, it's all about who you know sometimes. And I have a friend who works yeah. at DreamWorks, and I got a hold of him. And he said that uh, Roy had actually moved into the office across the hall from him. Hmm. And he was looking nice. for an excuse to talk to him. So he went and talked to him, and he, uh, uh, Roy agreed to get lunch with me. And so we went out to lunch, and he told me all about his time you know, working at Marvel and what it was like in the 90s. And cool. then and he pulled out two pages, and he uh, let me pick whichever one I wanted. And oh, so, that's so cool. So I, I Here, let me, let me full screen you. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Oh, there you go. So Spidey fight, fighting uh, Kane, and um, you know, that, I think that was definitely one of those moments where nice. I, I got back into my car and, and had a little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> because, you, know, nice. just, or, you know, that doesn't that's, really, you know, that's so that, cool. You know, it seems rare. Uh, Marvin, what about your uh, item that has a fun story with it? Oh, I, uh, I collect artist business cards, so I have, oh. I, I have probably ten or twelve of them. Well, I obviously I really wanted a John Romita business card, you know. Nice. So I talked to uh, my buddy Mike Berkey. He was on his way there. He was flying there. I said, "Hey, ask him if he has any business cards." So he said, "Okay." So he found some, right? So when he brought it back to me, I look at it and he wrote to Herman on it. And I said, <laughs> "I said, Mike, I said, Mike, who's Herman?" Yeah. You know? And he said, "Oh, you know, he's old. He just he must have mistook me." So I have. Now, I mean, now I have one that um, just a regular one, too. But the first one I ever got from him says to Herman on it. So <laughs> that's always a funny story. <laughs> My buddy, Sean, always he'll that's make it. reference to calling me Herman every once in a while. That's awesome. So. <laughs> and I remember Romita's uh, art was on like the Marvel letterhead. I think I've seen the yeah, card yeah. you're talking about on that business card. He had a Romita art on all Marvel business cards, too. Yeah, so, yeah. He, like, like I said, he was the face of Marvel for his artwork yeah, was the face of Marvel for a long time. Yeah. Uh, Mike says, uh, Ramita is one of a kind, amazingly awesome artist. Sean says, that's cool. Any of you guys have the complete Spidey super stories? There are 57 of them, I think. Um, uh, I think that's what you're referencing, Sean. Wasn't there 57 of them? I, I don't know. Bunch, but yeah. I, uh, yeah. Any, any Spider-Man ongoing series I have, the only issue off the top of my head that I I don't have Amazing Fantasy 15, but um, yeah, me neither. Amazing, spectacular web of adjective lists from the neighborhoods. So yeah, I I my Spidey Super stories. I don't have a complete run, but I mine are beat up. Mine got mailed to me in the Marvel subscription where they were in the, like a Playboy plastic bag over or a paper <laughs> sack over them. So I'm not getting a Playboy. I'm getting Spidey Super stories <laughs> right, <laughs> when I'm right. a little kid in the 70s, but. Uh, um let's yeah, say copies Brad are also reader copies uh for yeah. me it, it was more important to uh, have the issue than than necessarily for it to be in 
right. great condition or anything. I mean, even my amazing number one. Yeah, that's all, I was that kind of collector too. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hornus Sex says, let's all chip in and get Tristan a copy of Amazing Fantasy 15. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll take one too. <laughs> hey, if you're giving them out, why not? <laughs> that That's that's uh, the only one I've never owned. I've owned all of the rest. I, I've never yeah. owned a uh, AF-15. Yeah. I, I think all three of us don't own it. I, I own my amazing run goes number one, three, 14, 21 to current. That's what I own. Uh, the, the funny story I have is how I got one, three and 14. I was like 10 years old. My mom and grandma took me to a comic convention and I swear there was this, this college kid that looked like he had been eating ramen noodles for like a month and he had a table out. And he had those three issues. And I don't think I've ever seen an amazing Spider-Man number one before. And uh, I, I, I guess it was like, uh, what is it? The the uh, guys on History Channel that go around. Oh, what are those guys called? Um, pickers. 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 It, was, it, it, was, it was like I was an early picker because <laughs> what would you do for a bundle of all three of those? And I was 10 and they gave me all the guy sold them to me all three for a hundred bucks. Oh, wow. in like 1985 and nice. my mom was like well there's your christmas so <laughs> that's my funny story anything that the, is a holy grail that besides amazing fantasy 15 that you're on the lookout for tristan you want to go first yeah you know the the newest thing that i've started looking out for are those um the the mexican la prensa publications the oh. Vende hombre araña the sort of the there's an artist uh, jose luis duran who did about 40 issues of non-canon Spider-Man comics, sort of in the vein of like Gil Kane, uh, John Romita. Is that where Gwen married Peter? That's that right. That stuff? I've, saw, I've seen articles about that, yeah. yeah. They're they're very hard to find and they're very expensive. I have two, oh, wow. I have two issues of it. Um, but I mean, anything else I see sort of on eBay or, or uh, I found a, like sort of the Mexican eBay. Uh, like, oh, a, I didn't know that was a thing. Hebrew or something. And I mean, it's they're all... Seven hundred dollars or more, and, and I'm just not. One issue is seven hundred bucks. I mean, that's that would be cheap. That'd be cheap. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. And I mean, that's like wow, that's wow. Like 2 .0. You know, I mean, they're not in great condition. Uh, the paper quality itself is very brittle. Um, I have it all digitally, so I can still read it. I'm trying to learn Spanish, so. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know they were digitally. That's cool. Yeah, I Marvin. What not, are you? What I'll, Tristan? They're not legal things, but I'll, oh yeah, Shh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, what's what's uh, your holy grail? What are you on the lookout for? Uh, like I said, I collect one of a kind type items. So any type of like yeah. printing plate or printing block or color guides or original art, anything like that is what I try to steer towards. Now, holy grail, I would love to have a Ditko original art page would be a holy grail for yeah. me. Um, yeah. But but th those are, unless I sell my house, those are pretty much out of reach. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I to anyway, I totally regret not writing a letter to Ditko to get his autograph. Me too. I, I wish I, I wish I would have done that. Yeah, I didn't really, you know, I since I've heard a lot of people talk about it. And I, I just I never realized he wrote so many people back. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware on Facebook. There's a Facebook group, group called Ditko Letters. Search for that. And people put yeah. scans of the letters that he sent there. That's, That's cool. it's interesting to read that. Yeah, definitely. Check I have out. I have uh, five or six myself. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, I, Ditko. What did Ditko talk about? Oh man, you name it. <laughs> Actually, the, <laughs> probably never Spider Man. He probably didn't talk much about Spider Man. Um, I I have a couple where he mentioned Spider Man, so I kept them. I, I sold. I've sold a couple. I used to have about ten of them. Actually, I've sold a couple, and I kept the ones that were related Spider Man related. Um, where he mentioned oh, wow. Spider Man. Actually, actually, one of the best ones that I have. I asked him about um, why he left Marvel, and. Yeah. Uh, and if it was because of, I've always heard the rumor that it was because him and Stan disagreed on who Green Goblin was going to be. So I asked him about that and he uh, responded in the Steve Dicko way, <laughs> which, uh, you know, he never really answers the question, but, yeah. you know, he gives you your response, you know. So. I've, the letters I've seen, he always talks about, well, that was 40 years ago. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I've yeah, moved yeah. on and yeah. I don't look back. I can't imagine what it was like for him to walk out and, in New York City and Spider-Man you're hard pressed not to see Spider-Man sometime in your day. And for yeah. him, what would it be like for Ditko to just walk around New York 
Like there's a, there's a musical, there's a kid, <laughs> there, there's Times Square. There's a guy dressed like Spider-Man. I mean, I can't imagine what life was like what, for him. Sounds infuriating. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, but hey. and dogs. He, yeah. Uh, I actually well, got to meet him one time. It's one of the best. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. Stop the yeah. show. You've got it, Marvin. I want to hear this story. <laughs> <laughs> so every year I go to New York Con uh, with my buddy Sean and my buddy Mike. And uh, okay. for the last, I don't know, for the well, before he died, the last couple of years, we would go to his studio. We Googled, you know, we Googled and found out where his studio was. Mm -hmm. So we would go and we finally got the guts to walk past the security guard to see if we could actually go up to the wow. seventh floor where he was, you know? So we did, we, we talked ourselves up and we actually <laughs> went, walked right past the security guard and the security guard didn't say anything to us. We just acted like we knew where we were going. Yeah. <laughs> we acted like we knew where we were going. So we get up there and we knock on the door, you know? And, and as soon as the door opens, his office was right there, you know? And you've probably seen pictures of the seven. Yeah, it's a big seven, silver thing, S Ditko, yeah. Yeah, S Ditko, 715. Yeah. And as soon as the doors open, it was right there. We're like, wow. You know, I've seen pictures of this, but we're here. Wow. So one of the first times we go, I knock on the door, you know, and You're my gutsy, buddies, dude, you're gutsy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I have no idea what I'm going to say to him if he opens the door. Yeah. You know? So he didn't answer. So I, if you Google him, his phone number was on there. Oh right? man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I called him and you could actually hear the, like the old timey phone ringing in his office. <laughs> So at this point, my buddy starts filming me and he was like, hey, Mark, who are you calling? And I'm like, I'm calling Steve Dicko. Oh, my you know, God. I can't believe it. Anyway, he doesn't. So he doesn't answer the phone. He doesn't answer the door. So we're kind of bummed. Right. Yeah. So the next year we go back and we're <laughs> in. Uh, this was this was during the uh, the Ramita. Ramita did one final show at the uh, Society of Illustrators. I don't know if you guys had heard about that show, but he had been retired. He'd been retired. You know, he's 90 years old. So he'd been retired for yeah. years and uh, he did decided to do one more show so you know i talked to my buddies and hey let's go let's let's invite steve to the show you know it gives us a reason to be there at least you know so if he does answer the door we at least have a reason to be there oh there you go so there's go. your in yeah so we go and we knock on the door and sure enough he answers the door and wow he just kind of took us a second because we didn't think he was going to answer and uh, my buddy mike was like hey um I don't know if you've heard, but we're doing an art show and we would really like some of your arts there. We'd really like you to be there. And he took, takes the flyer. And then my buddy mentions John Romita and he just shut the door. <laughs> oh. so, <laughs> yeah. So it was bittersweet, but you oh. know what, at least I got to see him. I got to see him in person. And, and you know, it was well, as another, another trip. That was one of the better days, you know, besides my kids and getting married. One of the better yeah. days of my life. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. Uh, who would have thought a dude slamming a door in your face is a milestone? But from I know, Steve Ditko, right? that's a deal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, just exactly what I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah. man. <laughs> um. Okay, Tristan, top that. I can't. I got nothing. <laughs> Stanley slammed it in your door, huh? <laughs> I did run into Stanley at a bar once, but oh, okay. Oh, cool. Now yeah. Marvin, he's giving you a run for your money. Okay, let's hear this, Tristan. <laughs> I mean, you know, I was down at San Diego uh, for Comic Con, and I was at a, you know, on the way down with some buddies. They were like, "If you can meet three celebrities, who would you like to meet?" And I think I was, you know, Stan Lee, David Bowie, and I don't know who the third person was, you know, at the time. Um, and this was probably around 14 or so years ago. And uh, my local comic shop here in LA is called Secret Headquarters, and they have a shirt that's Stan Lee's face, but it's um, it's a play off the Sex Pistols, "God Save the Queen." Um, okay. it, it, I'd say Stanley, and then it has uh, instead cool. of Sex Pistols, it says Secret Headquarters across his mouth. Um, and so I'm wearing that shirt, and we're in the bar after the show, and we're just kind of hanging out. And here comes Stan just walking through the, the hotel bar. And my buddy's like, you should go up to him. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, you're right, I should. And so we went up, and it was like, you know, back in like the flip phone days, and my buddy's flip phone was dying, so he was doing the trick where you – turn it on and then back, you know, turn it off and on real quick to get like just a last <laughs> bit of charge. Um, and I have my arm around Stan this whole time. And finally he's like, your buddy know how to work a camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. um, and then when I, when I walk away, I turn around and there's like a huge line behind me and then oh, wow. more pictures and he walks away. So I was the only person to get a photo. Um, nice. you, know, and I, you know, I, I did the whole, like, I love Spider-Man. Thank you so much. 
you know, oh, just, that's so uh, funny. Yeah, of course. I was like, all right, he's fired. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm noticing a theme between you fellas. You've been insulted by Spider Man's fathers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, it's an abusive relationship, but we come back, don't we? <laughs> I had Stan on the podcast to celebrate Sal Buscema's 40th anniversary at Marvel and uh, calling him up and him picking up the phone is like the, be- I'm not going to top that show ever, but yeah, Stan, yeah. I don't think Stan realized we were recording uh, a broadcast. I thought when, when uh, Sal got on the line, he started getting looser with his language than he usually does when he's in public. <laughs> like Sal, how the hell are you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 he was so close to an F bomb. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> nice. Uh, we have, uh, Matt wants to know about a honeycomb sticker from 79. Do either one of you have that? Honeycomb? I think it was in a cereal box. Um, I, I don't have it. Do you, <laughs> the, I don't know. Oh, are you looking through your, your cereal box stickers? I <laughs> Marvin? Got- I don't. Th- I I think this was. Oh, hold on. Mac- I think that was a macaroni and cheese. I think, but it, oh I mean, my gosh, I'm not real sure. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Matt, we looked. We can't find the honeycomb sticker. I'm I'm curious, Matt. Why <laughs> why that was what you were after? What what what's so special about the honeycomb sticker? I think that's cool though. Uh, Mike says, uh, "May God bless Steve Ditko and Stan Lee." Sarah says she met Stan too and got a copy of ASM 31 signed. So that's awesome. Um, another thing I want to ask you is how often do you add to the collection? Are you, do you always return from the store with something? Yeah. Tristan, you do. What, what's the latest collection? What did you just add? Um, well, I, let's see. Um, I got this pretty cool. Here, I'll full screen you for it. There you go. It's a, like a Japanese. Oh, just, oh that's cool. Spider-Man magnet, like it's a magnet. It sticks to the, the symbol. Um, nice. My wife didn't know about that, so I'm glad she's me. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, in terms of collecting anything else, it's it's the, you know, the agreement we have is that, you know, I basically buy Spider-Man stuff, but then that's kind of it. So <laughs> there you <laughs> there, go. It's a pretty good deal for me. Um, Mar- Marvin, do you, do you, how often do you add to it? Is there something new that you just added? Yeah, actually. I just got something in today. I'll show you. I got, okay, let me full uh, screen you. See. What's that? It's a uh, it's a color guide, all hand colored, so it's one oh, nice. kind. Um, it's actually let me see if I. There we go. It's actually um, amazing one ninety three, and it's the first mention of Black Cat. So um, it's Ooh. pretty cool. There's but the burglar I, down there preceding two hundred on Amazing. Yeah. And this letter came with it, which I'm I'm equally excited about. Because it came from the guy that actually colored it. Um, oh. Ben Sean was the colorist for it. And he wrote this nice letter to, to go along with it, which that means as much to me as the color guide because I, I love oh, collecting wow. stuff like that. So, yeah. So, I mean, that oh, I got in today. Cool. And then last week, last week I got some uh, storyboards from the Spider Man 2 um, with the Doc Ock fight train fight scene, which is my favorite Ooh. scene in the movie. Nice. So, I got some some uh, yeah original storyboards last week um for that but like yeah. when i go to shows and stuff like that i normally mm-hmm. don't find anything um uh that i that i collect um yeah. but i you know i find stuff on ebay and online all the time so. that was my question where do you guys search is it all ebay i mean what like original art i don't know if that's where you search but where, where do you search marvin uh ebay a lot um okay the ori- you know, uh, like i'm more focused on original art type stuff now so i'll go to uh, RamitaMan.com. Uh, I'll go to Anthony's Comic Book Art. Um, CAF, Comic Art Fans, is a huge website for comic art collectors. I'll go mm-hmm. there. And then, like I said, a lot of people contact me um, just because they know you know who I am and what I collect. They'll contact me. Yeah. So a lot comes like that too. So. Yeah. Tristan, where do you search? Or do you not want to divulge it because someone might beat you to it? I don't know. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, you know, I, I definitely you know, use eBay, but I, I tend to try to find things in the wild. Oh, yeah. um, you know, I really like checking out stores. I was just in Indiana for a couple months helping out my mom with some stuff. And so while I was there, you know, I, I went up to Chicago, checked out some different stores, checked out sort of all the shops in the area. Um, it's definitely harder. And I agree with Marvin, like it's getting more difficult going to shows uh, and finding anything that sort of isn't a Funko Pop. 
Um, oh. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I would just say, you know, living in L.A., there are a lot of different shops out here, whether it's uh, like toys or antique stores or, you know, a flea yeah. market, stuff like that. But that's yeah. sort of where I tend to like to go. Um, and my buddy Rich works on, um, he's a producer for the toys that made us. So he's sort of oh, he's cool. out going into different oh, nice. shows and, you know, so he, he helps me get, he's probably the biggest contributor outside of myself to the collection. I, I've seen a few with you guys or something. I think that'd be a great yeah, episode. I agree. I'll, I'll <laughs> I agree. You know, I got, I got an email once from what's that Kevin Smith show that comic book men. Oh yeah. And they wanted me to bring my Spider-Man toilet paper on. And I said, okay, are you going to fly me out to New Jersey? And said, no, they said, no, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold on to my $20 toilet paper that I bought. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, any purchasing reg regrets that you bought something? It's just like, oh, that fell apart. Marvin, anything that you regret buying? Uh, early collecting my, my early years of collecting, I regret buying a lot. My, uh, my collection has evolved a lot since I was young. Mm -hmm. And if I would have focused on vintage toys or original art when I was buying, you know, the, the junk, basically, you know, the, the soup cans and stuff like that, that I bought when I was young, yeah, I, I would have a lot more impressive of a collection right now. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah, just, just the mass produced stuff that I bought a, a lot of, um, when I was younger, mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, I'll never get that money back, but I, I passed on a lot of great stuff so i could have mm -hmm. quantity rather than than quality you know oh, and yeah. i regret that a little bit yeah um, it, but it, i try it, to make it, up for it now <laughs> yeah there, if you collected every single thing that is out now of spider-man like it's not that special it's almost there's so much of it out there like yeah. he, he's on almost every cereal box now when that used to be a rarity yeah uh he's on just about everything i mean the, that's why the 60s 70s and 80s stuff is nice to see because he wasn't on everything but uh yeah. tristan you have any regrets like uh, frank sinatra said do you have a few i, I you know <laughs> i think we all have some regrets but in terms of my spider-man collection the only real regrets i have with that are um you know my amazing uh 50 i didn't realize was missing a page until Ooh. i was read. you know I'm, I'm doing a read through my whole collection now um but a couple of years ago i was reading that and uh came to a page and it was just not there. And so, you know, I regret not being a more um, informed buyer and sort of trusting somebody when you, you know, judging the book by its cover, I guess. Um, yeah. I really should have kind of flipped through, especially for some of those, you know, more expensive purchases. But it, it definitely wasn't priced at missing a page, was, you know. Oh, that sucks too. Is yeah. it, it, was it the page where it's in the trash can? No. no. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the most, uh, most important image of that issue. <laughs> <That's right>. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what's the weirdest, dumbest thing you've ever seen Spider-Man on? I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Spider-Man condoms before. Oh, <laughs> I, have not, I, I don't think they were officially licensed by Marvel, but, uh, with, with, well, it, it fits the great responsibility theme, you know, <laughs> um, Marvin, what's the weirdest thing you've seen with Spider-Man's face on it? You know what? Uh, last year or the year before I missed out on a Spider-Man beer can from the seventies, which was, oh, wow. I'm sure it was, I don't know if it was fan made or what it was, but it, it was legit. It was a beer can. It had the, uh, like the pull tab top. Um, and I was watching it on eBay for, you know, a week and it was at like $17. Like, yes, I'm going to win this thing. This is sweet. I put my max bid at like two twenty five, thinking there's no way it's even going to get close. And sure enough, someone, someone beat me out, which I'm very upset Some about. So if anyone's watching that has that, well I would love to own that. Marvin, they, I, uh, I just stopped at a Mile High Comics on my drive back to LA, and they have it at Mile High Comics. I, I don't want to tell you how much it is because it's lower than what you just said. So I don't oh, want to. Really? Do it. Oh man! But I think it was a hundred bucks. Uh, and there was also a, an Incredible Hulk one as well. So you should Hulk and Spider Man beer. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and, there were, and, it's, and, it, and it's a legit like seventies can. It, it looked like it had some wonky, not even I don't know, some wonky art. Yeah, I'll send, I'll send, I took a picture. I'll send it to you. Oh, oh that's absolutely. so yeah, funny. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's so, great. <laughs> if there's more than one of them out there, it must have been a license by Marvel. I, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't. Like, there's no way it's licensed. I, can, I mean, I that, <laughs> well, I mean, maybe that's where we get Hulk smashed from. I mean, come <laughs> yeah, on. <that's> true. Yeah. <laughs> Tristan, what's your what's your uh, weirdest thing you've ever seen with Spider-Man's face on it? I really, you know, it's hard. It's hard to think of that. Um, yeah. 
I mean, it's definitely some of the, the bootleg stuff you find from like, you know, sort of Mexican bootlegs of like super Spider-Man or something where it's sort of like Superman, but in a Spider-Man costume. Yeah. Um, I mean, that Ben Cooper costume from before, you know, the Ben Cooper pre-Spider-Man, Spider-Man costume. Oh, the yellow one. Yeah. I mean, that one's pretty weird. Um, yeah. It's a good question. Yeah. Um, Mike says, honeycomb stickers from 79 had Hulk, Captain America, and Spider-Woman. I think, yeah, I think it was just inside of a, a cereal box. Bruce is warning me that I need to go through my early issues because I may have bought from the same seller Tristan did. Uh, <laughs> I Bruce also doubts it was licensed Marvel beer. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> the Spider-Man guns from the 60s are kind of weird. and rough. Oh, they were Spider-Man guns? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that that is weird. Yeah, like pistols with them on the hilt or whatever. Oh, yeah. that's where yeah. Spider-Man, you'll shoot your, your web shooter out or that's something right. like that. I don't know. <laughs> the gun. All right. Uh, how about we, they've been wanting to see the tour. Tristan, would you like to start? If you want, if you want to yeah. kind of narrate and let's take a look Yeah. and I will, let me get this going. I'm going to put you over here and Marvin and I can drool here. Marvin, <laughs> let me get uh, the Spider-Man logo off of you. Let's see. So, um, this is uh, the space I have in our there you go. that my wife was kind enough to let me, you know, put out. So this isn't the entire collection, but it is, Every issue of, uh, you know, every ongoing Spider-Man miniseries. Um, nice. Got, um, I have some original art up here. Um, this is a John Amita page. That's the first page I ever bought. Um, behind the Spider-Man yeah. bust is a Corey Smith uh, clone conspiracy Omega. It's sort of the, uh, just a really beautiful page with the rhino. I need to mm -hmm. get, I need to get it professionally framed. I just wanted to get it up for the show. It looks um, great. And then I have a, a Ron Friend Spider-Man over here with Sal Bashama doing the inks. That I, uh, that's also from my friend Greg who passed away his collection um, that his, his wife gave me. What uh, issue is that? Does it say up there on the... It's an Amazing Spider-Man family. It's oh, okay. The, nice. The, yeah, the, the sort of, um, what are they called? Like vignette kind of uh, mm -hmm. books. I, you um, and I have the exact same Joe Jesco corner box art uh, poster to the right. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's right over my shoulder. It's right there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> got that at a uh, Hobby Lobby, I think. Same here. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, a funky that's... looking uh, lamp. Look at that. Oh, so that's the Spider Man. It's a old phone. Oh, it's a phone. That, a you know, since it's 2020, I converted into a lamp. Um, oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm not safe for work story about that. I'll tell, tell you guys offline. Oh, oh that would be good. <laughs> so. Uh, it's my Guinness uh, World Record back there. Um, oh, cool! And there's a there's nice. a, an artist that I like. Uh, he does a blog called The Spider a Day. Um, okay. So when I ordered sort of his little book, he he sent it with that artwork. Here's the the Guinness book that mm. you know, I'm in. Um, That's cool. I uh, when I was interning at Nickelodeon back in uh, you know forever ago, uh, I went and saw the Amazing Spider-Man three trailer premiere. And got to meet Stan Lee. I'm sorry, Sam Raimi, and he signed uh, the DVD. Um, that's Leo Pardon. I just saw the the Sp Japanese Spider-Man right there. That's right. Yeah, Leo Pardon. Nice. Spider-Man, come on. Um, Very cool. And is that the Magnet Spider-Man from the Legends? That he's hanging on the side. That's right. Yeah, it looks like the Ramos point. one. Sorry, I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm showing you. But oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, there's a light switch from the 70s there. That's light right, switch yeah. cover. It's another gift from my friend Rich. I um cool. There's a, an artist I really like named Jeff Gillette who does different sort of dollar oh series. So he did this is like a one of a kind thing he did. Got a uh, face palming yeah. Spider-Man on the dollar bill, yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Nice. Um rock reflections of a superhero. Oh, cool. Um Oh, that's the Spider-Mobile back there, the Hot Wheel. That's right, yeah. Yeah. But that you got multiple the, ones. Oh, cool. The, the Japanese Spider-Man one as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that tour. It's down there. I apologize that this isn't really working no, out. No, that was... No, you're getting really close shots. I saw the 7-Eleven cups. That looks cool. That's right. I've got the... 7-Eleven uh, cups. Sort of the super stand down there. Oh, and those are the <laughs> Secret Wars uh, three-pack. I remember those. That's right. Yeah. I was trying to get that helicopter uh, actually flying for you guys today, but <laughs> didn't seem to work out. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ooh, there's Stan. Got Stan. I, I did a little mod on it. Put the Infinity Gauntlet on him. 
Nice. Um, oh, there's your ASM number one. Yeah, so here's uh, amazing number one. And then to the right of it is um, all the friends who chipped in. They signed sort of a the frame that they gave it to me in. So I, I keep nice. that in here with it just to, Very cool. you know, just to keep myself honest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, spider Hulk. Yep. That's cool. Um, at the AM radio back here. I feel like that's something Marvin might appreciate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, look at those Migos reading the daily bugle down there. That looks cool. That's right. Yeah. I mean, what's more American than a hamburger and a shake for cap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no doubt. And that's um, Nicholas Hammond, Spider-Man back there. What's that? That is a print I got from Earth 2 Comics. I'm not quite nice. sure where it came from. Um, yeah, I, I just heard your your guys' interview with him a couple of days yeah. ago. It was awesome. They were so nice. They were so nice. He uh, still looks good, too, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, he could, yeah. he's in good shape. He could put on the suit and Spider-Verse. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, yeah, All right, so what else are we looking at? You got that Alex Ross bust over your head, I see. Oh, am I... Oh, you still, can you hear me, Tristan? That's weird. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hearing interference now. That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna. How about I? Oh, okay. Well, Marvin, it's just me and you now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Marvin, uh, while we get Tristan back, you want to show off your stuff? Sure. Yeah, I'm having my buddy help me. You know oh. what? Uh, maybe we should wait for him and because he probably wants to see this. Oh, okay. And, and yeah, comment we'll too. Wait. Why don't we take questions? Uh, Marvin and I will take a few questions. Uh, let's see. What Spider-Man and Hulk beer from the seventies? Yes, <laughs> a lot of people drank it and they don't remember it, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids, buy a Spider-Man gun featuring the heroes who Uncle was killed with a gun. That's oh, the new man. tagline. Ouch! <laughs> too, too soon, Hornacek. <laughs> uh, Mike says there's also Hulk and Spider-Man handcuffs. Do you own that? I believe so. Yeah. You do? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can find them. Let me see. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Mike, he's searching for the handcuffs. Uh, I know I have them. Somewhere. Never said that on this show before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're on a flat card. On a f Jonathan says kinky. <laughs> <laughs> As we search for the Spider-Man and Hulk oh, yeah. handcuffs. Oh, look at that. I'm impressed you know where it is. I didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, you well, you got it pretty quick. Oh, that's yeah, from Secret one. Wars. That's cool. Yeah, you know what? They made a couple couple different versions. Uh, they made a 70s version, too. I, I think I have that, too. I would just have to find oh, it. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Bruce <laughs> says there's an... Oh, he must have been talking about Tristan's phone. It was the 1985 telephone. <laughs> Uh, Matt wants to know if you have any animation cells of Spider-Man cartoons. I do. I do. Okay. I, uh, here, I'll show you one right here. This is, uh, okay, cool. This is, uh, I don't know if here, I'll, me, full, I, I'll full screen you. Here we go. I can't, I can't really Ooh, see. that's sixties. Yeah. It's a sixties one from a nice. uh, series from the first, uh, first year. So is yeah, that, it's actually, what's that on the right? Is that just the original drawing and then they paint it on the left or what? How does that work? Yeah. It starts off as the drawing. And then they yeah. use that to do the. Uh, oh, here's Tristan's back. The cell. Sorry about okay. that, guys. It's okay. We're, we're, he's showing off his animation cell right now. He has to. Oh, that's awesome. That's from the '60s. That was very cool. Yeah, I don't know if I can. Am I getting it in the frame? Oh yeah, I can see it. I can see oh, it real okay. good. I can okay. see it real good. Uh, this Tristan, awesome. do you have any animation cell? Oh, we're still. You got more, don't you, Marvin? Okay, let me let me see these. Now this this isn't this isn't a cell, but this is um, this is actually taken from the. It's just an old poster from the seventies, taken from the oh, cool. an, the sixties animation, which is really cool. It's the only one I've ever seen. So yeah, it's a super gulp uh, display. Oh, and that's I got, so cool. I got Paul Souls to sign it last time I met him. So. Oh, he was. He, I interviewed him a couple of years ago. He's such a nice dude. Tristan, do you have any animation cells? Is what Matt wants to know. I do not know. You know, okay. I actually, I saw one from the '90s animated series in Indiana when I was back there a couple months ago, and uh, yeah. they just wanted a little too much for it. It was just, you know, I'm sort of at a point with the collection where yeah, I have to justify what I'm buying. So yeah, no doubt. There was a, I think I saw an Amazing Friends on eBay, and I almost bought it, but that, again, <laughs> mortgage. Right. <laughs> or, <laughs> That's where we're hitting, where it's like, are we going to buy a house in an L.A. market, or are we going to keep yeah. buying comic books? Exactly, yeah. yeah. 
So let's go back. Tristan, you were showing off your stuff. So we saw your display cases. What else do you want to show off? Uh, you know, that's sort of, again, that's most of what I have here. Um, everything else mm -hmm. is still in it, in storage because it just takes up so much space. But yeah, really, most of the things that I like to show off are, are out here, which is... Okay. I know. see the Marvel vaults over your shoulder. Those were cool. Yeah, these are amazing. And, you know, if folks don't know about these, I mean, I see a lot of the... Yeah. You know, a lot of the stuff that Marvin, I know you have in your collection, um, they sort of feature that in here and they have these really great recreations of yeah. different, um, you know, memorabilia from the years. So I, I'm a big fan of this. And, you know, there was a moment where I thought about taking it all out of here and sort of uh, <laughs> lying and saying that I have the original, but that doesn't, what, really seem, that doesn't seem very Spider-Man. What is that? It's, uh, it's spinning and it's behind your shoulder. It's got a blue top oh, on yeah. it. What is that thing? It's like a, like sort of like a lava lamp motion lamp from the oh, 90s. Cool. It's a, a, just a different kind of like a, like a cool. motion lamp. And there was that, that uh, animated Spider-Man to the left of the screen. Did you, was that cool? I never bought one. You know, I, it's okay. It's cute <laughs> for sure. And it, um, it wasn't a hundred dollars cute for me. I, I no, didn't want to buy a hundred bucks for it. At, uh, Walmart for, I think 15 bucks. It was on sale. Oh, okay. Like, 15 fair. 15 um, fair. And I really wish they would have done something with it where it was more of like an Alexa than, you yeah. know, than that, you know, because it's, you know, tells different Spider-Man jokes or whatever. And, yeah. you know, I, I, I should have charged it. But every time you say Spider-Man, the eyes light up and it goes, <laughs> hello. <here." laughs> and so when I was doing an interview for Guinness, I ended up having to shut it off because it kept, every time I say <laughs> Spider-Man, it would just go, yep. Like, and, you, come on. and you said that you were just at Mile High Comics. They have the big one of that Mile High Comics I've seen. They a do, yeah. Yeah, that must have been like the display. Yeah, it's Our, super funny. I, they had that at uh, San Diego Comic Con the year that oh. it came out, and so I, I've uh, got to hang out with it twice now. Sarah says the spider robot is cute AF. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> um, all right, Marvin, let's take a look at your stuff. I'm gonna let me get this display up. There you go. All right, let's let's all take right, a look. Right. My buddy's gonna help me out here. I'm okay, sure cool. You have a right. photographer, Marvin. Look at this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. If, can you flip that screen? Do you know, or I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, there's it. a little icon on this on the screen. If it's uh, an iPhone, you can. It's an iPhone. Yeah, I'm an yeah. old guy. I don't I don't know how to work this newfangled stuff. Well, I'm gonna you tell me if I'm in there. <laughs> yeah, you, it looks great. I can see Marvin. I like that shirt, Marvin. I don't think I've seen that one before. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, this is the one that Renita wore to his conventions in the. Uh, Late '90s, oh, and here's a couple photos of him actually wearing it in the oh, early that's 2000s. So cool. That's really this cool. This is one of the, and then this is the first time I ever met him was in '06, and that's the sketch. I was actually with Albert when I met him, and that's the uh, sketch I got from him that day. He wasn't really doing them, nice. but he gave me that little. Uh, what else did I? Oh, you uh, mentioned Ditko letters. So here's some Ditko letters here. Um, here's one. Ditko of, letters. Uh, wow. Here, let me full I screen you so I can see it better. <laughs> quit Spider-Man in the 60s. Don't bug me, kid, basically is what it says. <laughs> and I got, uh, here's the one. Uh, <laughs> here's the one that talks about Green Goblin, which is really cool. Um, nice. So, and then here's a, just a, a rare item, a cover printing plate. Oh, um, cool. Which actually they used to print the covers. I got a couple of those. Oh, wow. I got, Obviously so the they would dip, would they dip that in ink? Is that how they? Is that how the? It's like a printing press for yeah, like. Basically, yeah, basically, here's the side. What it looks like. Basically, it's on a roller, and it rolls the. You know, this this would be the black. I think the black okay. color. And uh, yeah, so they're really super duper rare because they, you know, once they were done, they basically recycled them and reused them. So, hmm. but a, a couple have made it out to the public. I own two of them, um, and I know of a guy that owns two more. So at least four have made it out, but that's the only. Spider-Man ones that I've ever seen. Wow. Um, yeah, and uh, this is something that actually, a lot of this stuff, like I mentioned earlier, I don't have a lot of sentimental value um, for a lot of it. It's just, it's the thrill of the chase for me and finding it. You know, once I find it, I'm on to something else. But this, my wife bought me this um, piece of original oh, art that? from uh, the giant, the giant coloring book came out in the 80s. Uh, oh, I had, I had that. I had that. Yeah, That's like so cool. Like a three foot uh 
uh, coloring book. But yeah, she uh, she bought that for me, and then I sent it to to Alan, and he signed it. And uh, sadly, he died. You know, a couple months later, he got cancer and died. And I was mm. sad. He was one of my artists, um, but that holds a little bit of sentiment sentimental value to me. Um, I'm curious have, about the 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 I pinball the machine. Does the does the pinball machine have a story with it? Like that thing is huge. Yeah, it's uh, I mean it's it's a pinball. It's pinball. <laughs> it's big. It's a big one. Uh, how did you find? It, uh, how did you find the pinball machine? Oh, uh, I'm actually there's there's actually I think one or two on eBay right now. I mean they they can be found. They they made. I want to say they made like, geez, I don't know, twelve hundred or maybe even like three thousand. I can't remember the numbers. But they made yeah. they made enough. That they're around. I mean you can find them. Um. I mean, you have to pay up a little bit for them, and a lot of times you got to get them working. But uh, they yeah. can be. That's so <laughs> cool. Okay, feel free. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I might I stop you occasionally because I'm drooling. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing stuff. <laughs> Here's a store display for the cups that you were showing earlier. So that's oh, cool. the Seven Eleven cups. Yeah. Display for it, which that's that's pretty rare. That's the only one I've ever seen of that. Um, I got the '60s Ditko poster, the the six foot one in the back here. Oh yeah, neat. Um, oh, well, there's the that. stuffed animal Spider-Man from the '70s. I had that. Yep. Yeah, that is that is really tough. I've never seen a boxed one offered. I, I normally don't. Um, I normally don't collect stuff that's not boxed or packaged, and that mm -hmm. is just so fair. I've held on to that just because I've never it, found it. It was on eBay. It was like two fifty, and the box was beat up. I saw. I almost. I, I was tempted. Wow, that would that would be. Are we thinking of the same Spider-Man though? It had Velker on it, and the Hulk was with it, and Superman also. Uh, you're probably talking about this one over here. <laughs> okay, I probably am. Yeah, this, yeah that this one. one. Okay, I am about. talking about this that one. That was that was the one I played with. What was the one we were just looking at? Oh, man, your box is beautiful. That one on eBay was beat up. <laughs> yeah, that's this one is a little easier to find. I mean, it's still pretty tough in the box. Yeah. Uh, but, but what was, was the story on that other one we were looking at? What was that that story? Made by Migo. This is Amigo. Oh, that's stuff. Amigo stuff, Spidey. I've never seen one of those then. Two. There's this one which talks, and then there's a smaller one which I have it somewhere too. Oh, yeah. cool. Um, hey, Marvin, what's the uh, what's the lamp you have to your left? This is a '70s lamp with an '80 uh, Secret Wars top. <laughs> Pretty cool. You, you customized uh, it. That's this, cool. I don't know. Probably years. <laughs> and and these are incredibly rare <laughs> it's the only one that i've ever found to buy if i could find another one i would because i have another lamp that doesn't have a top and it's actually oh. here, here this is an old lamp too it doesn't have a top and i'd love to find a top for it but they're super rare because they get crushed oh Nobody's yeah yeah um this is one of the something newer that um that i got <laughs> My uh, actually, my mom and dad bought me this for oh, Christmas. Oh, cool! Oh, neat, neat, yeah. neat, neat, and yeah, Ramita art on it too. Yeah, Ramita art signed by Stan Lee. This is number sixty-two, which is significant. And oh, uh, cool! Was, oh, that's yeah, awesome. my parents. My parents came clutch on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited when I got it. Yes. Is that uh, what? What's the Jamie Fox? I'm not the fan of the blue Jamie Fox, but what is Jamie Fox doing? Oh, this is uh, the sweatshirt that he wore in the movie. Oh, um, cool. There were two or maybe even three of them. This is one of the three um, that he wore. It's, screen, it's all screen matched and everything. And I also have um, some of the newspapers that were used. Oh, in, in the movie? Uh, the, you have the Daily Bugles that were in the movie? Oh, that's yeah, so yeah. cool. Yeah, that was from uh, the first Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Um, oh, there, there's a detergent ad I'm looking at for all. I, I remember that comic book. It had yeah. the Green Goblin in it. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got. I found it. Man, I've had this probably 15 years or so. I don't know. Oh, I so remember that. But, uh, and you and you have the 90s video game with the Submariner of all people <laughs> that you could yeah. play. <laughs> I know. Yeah, my kids love that. I, I couldn't bear to get rid of it. My kids love it. You know, like I said, I normally don't collect 90s stuff, but... They loved it so much. They play it all the time. So, uh, so I keep it uh, yeah. just for them. 
So we've seen two walls, oh, Marvin. We're on wall three, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's stuff tucked away everywhere. Here, my, my display case is here. Show them some of this. On. Okay, let's see the display case. Um, oh, you about... got the Atari. Tw oh, there's your business cards. There's my Very two cool. Herman uh, Ramita business card. <laughs> two Herman. Yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah. How funny. There's Ron Friends, I see. Yeah, nice. there's Terry Stewart and a couple Ramitas and... This is actually pretty rare here. It's the Ben Cooper Jiggly display um, from 73. Full display. You don't see that very often. Oh, I remember, I've seen those before. No, not to see the display, but I've seen the Jigglies. They yeah, look yeah. like they're in good shape. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty mint. Oh, wow. And this, you know, that's actually this is the first time I remember seeing Spider-Man. Now that we bring up oh, what you yeah? asked earlier, my sister had one of those Jigglers. And Jigglers? I remember I was yeah. really... Maybe really uncomfortable, but uh is that the eighty is that the eighty two like behind the counter display for the Spider Man video game? Yes. It is. Yeah, it's the counter display. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I uh I've never I hear there's a big one. I've never actually seen it. I hear I hear tales of it, but I've never seen yeah. one. But I hear there's one that's like three foot tall, which would be awesome to have. Yeah. I mean I've never I, seen I, one surface. I, uh, I interviewed the lady that helped design that game for the Activision. Oh, really? She's so nice. Her name's Laura. If you go back to the YouTube archives, you can watch that interview, but she was so cool. Neat. What else we got? Uh, what else? <laughs> uh, I got, um, here's actually, this is cool. I always get a lot of comments on this. It's a, if you could, uh, give it a tilt there. It's oh, a is that a newspaper display? Paper display. Yeah. Daily Bugle. Oh, cool. Um, is that, is that custom? Did you, like was it painted like that, that or did yeah, yeah, that's custom. I actually, I worked, uh, I worked okay. crime scenes for work, and it was used. It was, someone broke into it, and they were scrapping it basically. So I rescued it, and and uh, oh, my dad neat. fixed it. My dad fixed all the metal in it. It's all hardened metal. Um, my dad fixed it up. I painted it. Got the stickers for it, and people love it, man. They anytime I would post pictures of it, people would always want to ask me. Where oh, I got that's it. so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm in the market to rip you off with that idea, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my eye out for a, for about six oh. months. I think you posted it a little while ago, and I was like. It's a damn good idea. I, mean, <laughs> I have so many that, doubles that, that I, you know, usually for me, when, when folks come over, I, I give away like extra copies of issues that I accidentally bought two of or something. So just yeah. having like something to put them in would be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. It's, it's a cool little piece. I keep all my, uh, all my uh, tape and anything I use my tax and anything I use to, you know, hang stuff. I keep all that hidden away in there. Um, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Cool. St. Louis Post Dispatch. That's what. That's the newspaper I used to read uh, the Spider-Man newspaper strips over your head. What is that? Oh, that's a uh, that's a uh, newspaper display for the front of the the newspaper box. Oh, of the where they got the papers the, out of. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Here in the bottom, I'll show you. I got one. There's one oh, you got here. you got one on the bottom there. Oh, yeah, I, got three, I got three of them, but that's cool. where they would be displayed. Yeah. Nice. Um, I got. What else do I got? Oh, here's a piece of Eric Larson original art. There's oh, a look uh, at that. That's cool. Sal Buscema covered prelim there. I can't uh, see that one. Oh, is I'm it sorry. for Spidey Super Stories right, down there? Oh, that's cool. What yeah. is that a Spider-Man cane? What is that thing to the right? Is that <laughs> Spider-Man cane? Oh, yeah, <laughs> what is I made, that? I made <laughs> that's for I when we all get old, right? <laughs> I was releasing a new line. <laughs> this was actually a bobblehead that my son broke, and I'm like, oh, I, I feel bad throwing that little spidey head away, so I've turned it into a oh. cane. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, you got cases right there. What's in the what's in those? That's, that looks cool. Like I said, it's it's a little bit dark in this corner, but um, I can kind of see it. This is a the finger puppet. It's a full display. Nice. These here. Let me open the door at least here. By the way, Hornacek says that is Spider-Man's pimp cane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how dark it is or if you can Oh, yeah. oh you got a Nicholas Hammond autograph right there. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a uh, Type 1 photo used in the newspapers. Nice. I got a printing, a Woolworths printing stamp there. Oh, just by watching your Facebook feed, that's the laser disc of the 60s, isn't it? 60s yeah, cartoon. Yeah. That's one of your new items, I think. Yeah, I got that this year, I think. Um, yeah. And I actually bought it. I only got it. I got it for a couple bucks. Oh, and yeah. when I got it, when I got it in, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was like a like a CD size almost. Oh no, yeah, laser discs were huge in the. I mean, not huge, yeah. popular, but they were huge. 
Yeah, so I bought that for a couple bucks. I was excited when it came in. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, there's Marvel lighters to smoke? I guess. <laughs> <Here's> a... <laughs> Don't tell Joe Casada. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, that's a full display. That's the only one of those I've ever seen. Oh, that's um, cool. And this is actually um, from 1990. I don't know if, if I've even shown you. Like I said, yeah, I, I can really see it. See. It looks like a diamond. Okay. It's a diamond uh, award for. Um, it was actually given, I believe, to Terry Stewart. Okay. Um, when when the 1990 series Spider-Man series um, broke all the records, sold uh -huh. however many millions of copies. This oh, was actually cool. the award that Terry Stewart got. Cool. Uh, a couple more displays here. As you can see, I I kind of focus on store displays. What are, what is that Spider-Man Hulk thing? Uh, which one are you on talking on the here? on the left? Yeah, right there. What's is this that? What you're talking about? Yeah. It's a uh, it's candy sticks. I oh, those tasted so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they taste really. They sure they taste. Oh, really yeah. Bad <laughs> what's what's that silly string thing back there too next to the oh, awful tasting candy sticks is that that that's, bubble bath that's the crazy foam well crazy foam that's yeah that's the early out. version it's the 70s version of uh the web shooter that the kids have now yeah that that's 74 that's actually pretty tough to find uh this I would imagine. Cool, which you'd never find but yeah oh. i would love to find the display for that that'd be awesome that's cool um, there's some more. You got a Migo. You got a Migo uh, car up there. I think I see. Yeah. Did you put a Migo Spidey in there? Yeah. Yeah. This is just extra. I have a boxed one too. Like I said, I normally don't collect the uh, un unboxed stuff, but uh, mm -hmm. but that one I had extra. I tossed it in there. That there's looks a cool. Printing, printing plate. Um, here's actually a McFarlane con badge, which is cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's neat. Oh, look uh, at that pen display. It's got Superman and Spider-Man on it. Yeah, yeah. Heaven forbid. <laughs> um, here's some more. Um, this is from actually from John Romita's studio. He oh, gave it to cool. me. I wrote from my studio on there, so that's cool. A couple watches. This is a, yeah. a Ditko yearbook when he was a junior. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Steve Ditko's yearbook. I have seen that on eBay. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is uh, this is I don't, you can't see, I'm sure, but this is him right here smiling. <laughs> Probably the, one of yeah. the only times he ever smiled. <laughs> oh wow, that's so funny. Here's some more um, production type stuff. Um, oh, this cool. this this was for a gum, um, a a bucket of gum. That's mm -hmm. the mold that they use to make that. Um, oh, oh is, is that? For is that amazing 400? 400? Oh, yeah, that's, that's so cool. Yeah, that's what they, you know, that came with an embossed oh, yeah. cover. And that's the yeah. plate that they use to emboss it with. So that's cool. Nice. Uh, some more. There's a little bootleg uh, Mego bootleg. Yeah. yeah. Some more display type stuff. Uh-huh. Yep. Right and let me think. Let me see. Oh, his uh, he has a a uh, light switch cover, which I have a couple of. But right, the, Tristan does, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here's the mold that they use. Oh yeah, uh, that's the mold that it came from. Oh, that's yeah, so cool. Yeah. And then uh, this is one one of the items that I would probably never get rid of. This is actually from John Romita's personal collection. Oh, the record. And he signed it um, from his personal it. collection, which is cool. To the right of that, I have fond memories. Is that the Hardy's Happy Meal or what okay. Hardy's equivalent was? With the yeah, three that's actually. The, yeah, yeah. Is, I, have a, I have a couple, a couple different displays. This was this was the drive-through display. Oh, it was um, in the drive-through. Oh, how cool! Yeah. And then they make a bigger one too, which I also have in here somewhere. Um, but they make one that's like two foot long too. Oh, um, neat. And then I, I had a, I had a friend of mine that set up a display in one of the antique stores, and he he collected like the stuff from he was a mcdonald's collector and he was selling it all and they had the giant 90s spider-man toy display for like a couple hundred yeah. bucks and i'm like uh but anyway it, it's cool that people collect all that stuff what's on the bottom yeah. of that hey, that display case underneath the I'm rambling on. Does work? no i'm dude i'm still drooling man I, keep going <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't, don't want to bore anybody. You know what I mean? I no, I Tristan, wanna... I'm not bored. Are you bored? I'm not bored. No, I don't think the viewers are either. Keep going, man. 
All right. Hey, here's that other me. I'm getting some new ideas for some new grails. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> here's that other Migo softy that I was telling you about. That's really he lost rare. his eyes. Yeah, yeah, he lost his eyes, and he and he us. You can't really see, but he lost his his uh, socks too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but they're it was so rough. rare. <laughs> is that a cookie jar? That no, this is a display. Because okay. um, I, actually... I got a cookie jar. It looks like that. Yeah. I actually just bought this this year. I was in I was in Tennessee, and one of the stores in Tennessee had this on display, and I asked them about it, and they sold it to me, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, I just bought that this year. Jonathan says, I'm not bored, I'm jelly, is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Sarah old. says, no, keep going. I'm looking up stuff on eBay to buy, is what <laughs> Sarah says. <laughs> This is pretty cool. This is a, a balloon, you know, the Spidey balloons that came out in, uh, I think, like, 78. This is the gumball okay. machine for them. Um, these are two, a couple of super rare items up in here. Um, the shipper boxes for the 74 cards. Oh, This is actually okay. what they shipped them out in. So that's a shipper box for that. And then the, uh, the bubble gum that came out in 1978, mm -hmm. I think, as well. That's a shipper box for that. Yep. I see something that is in my eBay alerts. Uh, <laughs> right, right behind the stuffed animal is the Marvel superheroes puzzle that had everybody on it. I remember buying that when I was a little yeah, kid. Yeah. I yeah, can't yeah. get one that's fairly cheap. That one's I, I that's on my list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've only had that a couple of years. I, I uh, yeah, I bought that in a huge lot. I actually bought a full um, a storage unit full of spider-man stuff it was like 48 tubs of stuff and that came in in that wow. lot so yeah what is that web shooter in the in the cardboard box down there this uh, one here yeah what's that that's the shipper box for the i actually have the display in there too it's the display and the shipper box for the 74 or 5 whenever that came out the the oh, wow the uh, web shooters yeah so yep. i paid up for that i paid a bunch for that um, mm -hmm. but it was really super rare you know yeah um, let me see what else I got here. This is, this is pretty cool. I've been working on this uh, for the last year or two. Uh, it's just basically an old drawing board. Oh, cool. I've been, I've been going to the cons and getting all the artists to sign it. So I've been working on that. I do, when I get bored because I don't find things, you know, I get bored uh -huh. and try to create things to keep me busy when I Who, go to shows. What are some names that are on the board? I think oh, I saw Ramos. Yeah, there's uh, Ramos is on there, uh, Art Adams, Ramita, Ramita Jr., Ron Friends, Terry Alex Dodson. Savick, I see. Yeah, Savick, uh, Greg uh, Hildebrandt, oh, yeah. um, Finch, Still Freeze, uh, Larry Hama. Yeah. Uh, Garcia Lopez, Bob Hall, Very Eric Larson. Cool. Yeah, so I every time I go to a show, I'll, I'll take that with me and – you know, so I don't get skunked because I, you know, I, my collection is so focused. Um, I'll just, I'll mess around and get a couple artists to sign that. So I come away with something. The, uh, the thing over by the, uh, the newspaper display is a Halloween bucket. That's one of my recent purchases. It's over actually over my shoulder right here. That, uh, oh man, yes. you got a bunch of Halloween buckets. Look at that. <laughs> I got, yeah. I think I have like 12 of them. <laughs> wow. And, and they got the card on them. Mine came with the card. Yeah. Does yours have the hang tag? It does still, yeah. Nice, the guy nice. found it in like a warehouse. He was selling yeah. like a dozen of them or something. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, like a dozen of them myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, what else? You can keep going, man. I'm still, um, I'm in still in love. Box. All right. Here's a couple of the more rare lunch boxes. Um, oh. Everyone oh, that one's. Have Everyone you seen the one on stuff. eBay that's like like eight grand and it's a prototype with a, it's a puffy Spider Man on the outside? Yeah, that's that's crazy. There's only like one or two yeah, it's like the prototype. One. Yeah, for that one, that yeah, size cool. right it's, there. That, that's a lot of money, but um, it is really cool. I would love to own that. That's awesome. Yeah. I've never seen those plastic ones you're showing before. Yeah, this one I, this this one is Canadian. It's basically uh, that's probably why. Yeah, so that's a little more rare. And then these the Secret Wars stuff is really tough to find if yeah the figures are easy to find anything related to like lunch boxes or any type of other toy is really tough to find from the secret wars line yeah um but the figures oh, you can find all day but bruce is saying that lunch box is 20 grand i i underestimated how much the dude's asking <laughs> for it wow yeah wow uh, well here's uh 
Uh, well, race tracks. Cool. Yeah. Package. Um, this I told you I met Paul Souls um, a couple times, mm -hmm. and uh, this is actually the '60s uh, scribble pad. And then I had him write wallop and web snappers on there for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's another. Uh, this is actually the first Dicko letter that I ever got back. Well, what's he say? Oh, he said, Marvin, I left Spider-Man in the 1960s. My efforts on the material I am doing for 2012 and for 2013. I don't do sketches. This is the first time I ever, <laughs> this is the first time I ever wrote him. So I was asking, obviously, I was asking for a Spider-Man sketch. Yeah. Um, you know, knowing that he wouldn't do it. I, I if you go own. back just a little bit, that MP logo, that was at the end of all the Marvel cartoons. What is that thing that you have there? Yeah, this, um, I don't really know. And I took it to um, John Romita because it's based on a John Romita um, right. art. It's based on John Romita art. He signed it for me and everything, but he didn't know. He just knew it was from, he figured it was from the 80s. And mm -hmm. it was some type of um, just display that they would hang somewhere. But he didn't know quite what it was from. I remember um, it I came out the, at the very end of all the Marvel cartoons. And, and like Muppet Babies, you would see Spider-Man fall down. Yeah. Land on top of the Marvel Productions logo. That's cool. Yeah, he, yeah, he would do like a backflip and land on it. It was real cool. Yeah, no doubt. That looks like uh, gum down there. That's a gum Spider-Man gum display. Gum? Um, is, is that? Or you put a quarter in it and you turn it, something comes out. Oh, it's yellow. It yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just all, all the different um, gumball headers that I've collected over the years. Oh, that's cool. And I bought this old gumball machine and put them in there just to display it. Yeah. Oh, neat. Um, cool. Let me see what else. Here's a here's a nice display here on the ceiling. I don't know if you can show that, Albert. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah oh, it's a, it's that's like, for the '70s uh, Spider-Man uh, show. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a video standy, which is pretty cool. That's pretty rare. And then here's a uh, the paper top of uh, the paper display for like uh, birthday parties and stuff. That was a display for that. <laughs> What's the what's he that's uh, well, nearly Halloween? What's that spider pumpkin on the ceiling? Oh yeah, this this was a, a late eighties eighty seven. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember. Um, they would hand out like packs of cards. It was like a three pack of cards, and it was Spider Man Hall Halloween themed. And I think Captain America was on one of them. And um, but that's that was cool. actually it was actually a big huge standee that um, was filled with that. Actually, this Neat. this might be the comics. Yeah, this is the comics. And there were like mini comics in the right. there was a nice display for that. A couple things I saw in the collection that I've wondered over the years. I a recent purchase for me is I got the uh, the the underoos, which you, I can see right over your shoulder. I've got that underoos, but you've got a different underoos that I've never seen before in a box. It's up yeah. on your left. Yeah, tell me about that one. Yeah. I've never seen that one. This one is actually this one isn't the boxed one. This one is the. Um, it's the it's the later version. This one is yeah, uh, eighty two, and this one oh, is seventies. Okay. Um, so yep. this one came out a little later. Actually, That's, I that eighty one's harder to find. I can't find that eighty one. It is, yeah. You know what? A, a lot of the eighty stuff is harder to find in the seventies because they made a lot of the seventies stuff. Yeah. Because of uh, because of the sh the show, you know. Yeah. And then there was yeah. there, between like between like eighty to. Amazing Friends, there wasn't very much produced during that time. Yeah. So that stuff in that era is really tough to find. Um, now, the, is, the, the real tough one that you were just talking about, if I can find it here real quick. I think the Underoos, yeah. Where, oh, yeah, this one. This one is super tough. The only one, this is the only one I've ever actually seen offered for sale. Oh, I know it exists, but those are like flannel, like the yeah. for cold nights yeah. or whatever, yeah. Yeah, and it actually came in a thicker box, which I thought was really cool. I've never you seen know. that before. <laughs> With Ramita artwork yeah, on the a, front, too. Yeah, um, this was actually a gift from my wife. My wife bought that for me. Wow, that's really cool. Is that, a, is that a comic book store display with McFarlane art on it? It's black right in front of you? This right here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, from 1990. This, would, this actually hung in the comic shop that I went to in the 90s. Not this particular one, but the exact same display hung in yeah. in the uh, comic shop that I used to go to. And, uh, and what's yeah, that thing this... flashing at us right now? What is that thing flashing? This is something that somebody made. My wife actually bought this for me too. Um, mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's actually Neil Adams art from the, from the uh, 60s uh, model. Um, but they use that 
to make this display, which I thought was really cool. Um, yeah, that is neat. So I, There's uh, multiple versions of Mego Spider-Man I see to your right. Do you have the one with the circle spider? There's I like a circle. Okay, that's the I, rare one, I think. Yeah, and actually, I, I've so I've bought and sold a couple um, in the past. I had a sewn a sewn arms variant, which is tougher. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of that stuff, I I if I if it's worth more than if someone offers me more than I think it's worth, I'll, I'll sell yeah. it for the most part um, because uh, I know I can always find it again if I'm looking for it. So a lot of especially Migos, Migos are out there. You can find them. Yeah, um, I should have remembered to ask this, but Jonathan just brought it up. Uh, Kelly, who is on our show is on a mission to find out what happened to that wedding dress that the actress wore on good morning America and went to, uh, when Spider-Man got married, there was an actress that they hired and she was in a dress that you guys know what happened to the dress. I know like the Shea stadium no. marriage. Yeah. The Shea Stair Shea yeah, stadium marriage. Yeah. No, I yep. know that there was a famous designer who designed it, but that's that's sort of yeah. the extent of. Oh, Kelly's knowledge. watching. There, there. She's she's looking for that dress. We want to know what happened to that dress. <laughs> I don't <laughs> hear anything. I'll let you know. It's a mystery. What happened to the dress? What is, are those Spider-Man flip flops over there, Marvin? What am I looking at? What is it? I'm sorry. Like you broke up for a second. Flip, are those Spider-Man flip flops by your elbow? What is that? Uh, by the oh, underwear. The, the sandals. Spider-Man flip-flops, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. And there's a crime lab. Spider-Man, is that a Mego thing? Oh, that's a that's actually made by um, Empire. Okay. And they made they made the crime lab, and then the helicopter, the giant helicopter is up there too. Oh, how cool! And is that this? Oh, that's a Seven Eleven display. You said that's so cool. Oh, yeah. Sam Kirby says he's wearing the dress right now. Sam Kirby, I don't know if you guys have, <laughs> have talked to Sam online. Sam is a big Spider-Man collector. Yeah, and he's he, Sam. Sam and I are, are Facebook friends. Yeah, he he I he used to have, he moved. He used to have a huge display that was uh, just impressive. But yeah, yeah, Sam, I don't think you're wearing the dress because <laughs> Kelly says she wants to borrow it if you are. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this is actually scaled down. I, I know you contacted me, what, a couple months ago. Yeah, you said you were moving to a new room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My room used to be like three times this size. So I had to I had to take down a lot of my posters and stuff like that that I had displayed. So this is the scaled down version of, of what I have. Um, now, I still have all this stuff. I just it's in, in uh, it's stored away. But. Yeah, the room used to be like three times this size. Um, oh wow! wow. <laughs> but it's you can probably cycle stuff out. You can take stuff out of storage and stuff. And yeah, I, I've actually been uh, thinking about my collection over the years has really it's starting to evolve, and it's evolved a couple different times to where I've sold a bunch of stuff you know that, that I'm not so into to buy things that I'm into. And I was actually I'm actually been thinking about selling a lot of the mass produced stuff that I own. Right. To, to kind of focus on um, store displays and one of a kind type items, original art and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so like the Migos and stuff like that, I'll probably end up selling eventually just to fund mm -hmm. all the other stuff that I like, you know, you were over your shoulder during the beginning of the interview. You had a whole bunch of Halloween costumes, the Ben oh, yeah. Cooper stuff. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah. There's... Oh my God. You got a Marvel world. That's like yeah. a Holy Grail. Oh, I don't know which one to start on Marvin. What do we want to start with? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Marvel world. Um, Whoa! Actually, it holds no sentimental value to me at all. I, I didn't play it when I was a kid. I actually got it in a trade, um, and I kept wow. it, you know, just because it's Spidey. But um, it, it it doesn't hold any. A lot of people are like, "Oh, I played that as a kid." I never did, so it doesn't really hold any sentimental. Value I didn't either, but I discovered it when I was an adult, and I'm like, "That looks like the coolest toy ever in the '70s." <laughs> it was actually I mean, when I when I got it, it was fully built. And oh. It looks it's very interesting built. It's cool because it's cool. like you no, know, it's like ball or something, you know. So it's really cool. Um, and and it's really yeah, it's it's just cool. it's paper, right? It's little paper and you and a little paper Spider Man. Yeah, it's, it, it just I can see yeah, how it could easily be beat up. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's cardboard. Anyway, back yeah, to the Ben Cooper Halloween <laughs> costumes. What do we got up there? Yeah, I got uh, what? One, I got ten of them, I think. Uh, oh, but there's wow. probably man, there's probably 60 different versions of it, I would imagine. Um, yeah, I do have I have a 60s version. I don't have the first. I don't have the 63 version that everyone wants. Um, I've never right. owned that, but they but they have surfaced a lot more of those have surfaced in the last 
couple of years. They used to, it used to be like a $10,000 costume, you know, mm-hmm. when, when only one or two were thought to be around uh, yeah. you know, probably five or 10 have surfaced in the last couple of years. So the, the value is coming down where you can actually buy one, you know, for your collection. Yeah. Um, and you have a spinner rack, which, uh, which has Spider-Man on. I've got one of those. That's one of my favorite yeah. things. I, I have so many fond memories of getting the comics off of that spinner. Both of you guys have spinner racks. Talk about the story yeah. of your spinner rack. This one's actually a, a newer version. A Superman is actually, he actually looks like a human in this one. The older You're right. Version, That's the one I've got. The older version, he's a little more uh, mong, mongrelish, I guess, <laughs> if that's a word. Uh, he yeah. looks a little more beat up. Um, yeah. Actually, the spinner rack that I'm looking for is a, a there's a 60s version, a late 60s version, maybe early 71 or two, maybe um, with John Romita art, Spider-Man and Hulk. And man, it's killer. Um, I would love to own it, that. Does it anytime. spin or is it sit up? I've seen I've seen one of those on eBay. It's, it, it's, a, it's a sit up. Yeah, it sits up. Yeah, I've like seen that. Wall. Yeah, I that's would, expensive. <laughs> yeah, they're expensive, but they're super rare, you know, too. Yeah. Oh, Brian wants to know what the Jeffrey Tambor thing is. I saw that too. I didn't. What is that? Uh, this I don't know if you guys saw this movie. It's called Superhero Movie. Yeah. But it's a it's a spoof on Spider Man. Basically, the whole thing's based off of Spider Man One. Basically, the whole movie. And this this is just a chair back from um from production from that movie. Oh, and I, I kept oh, it's the back of his chair. Related. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, uh, Bruce also says uh, that 63 costume in a box sold for nearly a grand on eBay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Which is, I mean, that's still a ton of money. I mean, for a costume, but they're uh, yeah. You know, they're they're rare. It's, it's the first Spidey um, mass produced, other than the comics. It's the first Spidey toy, basically. So it's the holy yeah. grail when it comes to uh, to uh, Spidey memorabilia. That's one cool. of the holy grail. There's a couple, but uh, this is also. I didn't really talk about this, but this is also. Okay really rare this is the uh the ohio art um toy i've never even seen that before which is i know i know cap is featured on there but this is all the boxes came like this and then this one you knew it was spider-man because it said spider-man and cap would say cap on there like that but this okay. is uh yeah this is super rare here and uh man i can't think of i can't think of the year i want to say it's late 60s or maybe early 70s but it's really tough to find and then i actually found this believe it or not it's the production mold that they used to make this toy oh neat so, neat, yeah. neat so that's one Bri- of my more rare brian ones. says that he has that spider-man meets the fly racetrack i don't think i've seen that before oh yeah yeah that's a big one actually it took me a long time to get that because nobody wants to ship it because it's huge Oh, so, okay. Like you, you never see them on eBay because they're, you know, they're three foot long and no one wants to sh- them because they're, you know, they cost them yeah. much to ship or whatever. So it took me a long time to track that down. What is that Spider-Man Hulk thing yeah, behind the so, balloons uh, back there? It's like this here. Wall. Yeah. What's that? That is actually a personal invitation to the Marvel Christmas party. Um, that was sent out. <laughs> <laughs> that was sent out to Kelly Frias. I don't know if you know who Kelly Frias is. I don't. Is, but uh, Kelly Frias was, was an artist. He was an artist in the 70s uh, for Marvel. Okay. And that was actually sent from, from the company to him to go to their Christmas party from the 70s, from 1973. So that was uh, something that I stumbled across. Can you imagine like, uh, work, like the, working in a I place like where it's collect, collectible to get the Christmas invite letter? <laughs> I mean, that, <laughs> who has that? That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one stuff, thing I did I love stuff like that. One thing I didn't see that I I see on eBay that's really rare is that elastic Spider-Man that melts. Everybody wants the yeah. Hulk or the Spider-Man one. Do you have one of those yeah. or did it leak all over the floor and ruin it for you? I I don't own one because I've never found one that I felt was worthy of my collection. They're all beat they're always beat up and they're always like yeah. like you said melted and nasty inside. If yeah. I would find one that was complete and nice, I would absolutely want to add it to my collection. But you just never see them like that. You know, they're always yeah. whatever, whatever corn syrup, whatever they put in those things always yeah. leaks out. Yeah. 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 So Jonathan says next we'll see the Stanley report card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is actually a letter from yeah. Stanley to Bill Blevins. Um, so that's pretty cool. Oh. Just talking about his career and 
stuff like that. I love personal type items. Um, yep, this this act this is pretty rare. This is the Aurora uh, model kit display sign. So you you hardly ever see that. That's from the sixties. That's cool. Sixty cool. stuff is uh is very tough, hard to find. You know? yeah. I see the Spider Man toilet paper. I own a roll of that. <laughs> yeah, this is actually one of the when I first started collecting vintage. It's one of the first things I ever bought. Um, yeah, and it was that's I mean cool. it was it was cheap. Um, this was actually, this story that's in this is actually done by Marie Severin mm -hmm. and it's to, to my knowledge, it's never been reprinted anywhere. So this is the only where, only place to, to actually read that story, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> You've got two, two roles during the pandemic. It came in. I, I, did you ever think about opening it up? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about selling it. Just in case. This is actually the facial tissues here. This is tissues oh, here. Whoa. I've never known. I didn't know they made Kleenexes. I did, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, they made the whole oh. gamut. They made the tissues and soap and everything else. Oh wow! But uh, yeah, so I mean, I don't know what else. There's Spider Man. Is that Spider Man vitamins? I see the yeah, yellow. Yeah. yeah, there's there's also I got a couple different versions of this, probably three or four, but there's probably twenty different versions of this too. Mm -hmm. This is made by Hudson, and there's yep. actually there's actually a Hudson display sign that's really super duper cool. I don't own it, sadly, mm -hmm. but um. But I have seen it, so I know it exists, and I would love to wow. have it. Yeah. Here's well, a uh, Dr. Pepper printing plate to use the, oh, to, to wow. print the cans. That's a little newer. Oh, neat. That came out in, like, the first Raimi movie. Yeah. That's well, so no. cool. Tristan, <laughs> uh, Tristan and I are just passed out. We are just amazed. <laughs> Tristan, is there anything you want to ask Marvin about his collection that we didn't hit on, or? Well, I, I definitely, I mean, the, I'm going to keep my eye out for that lampshade from the Sea yeah. Wars. Oh, there, um, oh I'm man. Jealous, I, you know, uh, Sal Buscema is somebody who's original art I'd really like to get a hold of. Mm -hmm. um, that's sort of coming up next with my next. Uh, what are you looking for? I, I, I have uh, a, a couple pages. I have probably five or six Sal pages. Uh, if you're interested, I don't know if you have anything to trade or anything like that, but uh, I mean, I'll definitely. If it's something let's, that tugs on your heartstrings, you know. All what right, I mean? let's let's sidebar that for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we can take a few. I I kept you guys half an hour longer because I would just I just got drooling on both of your collections. So, uh, you want to take a few questions before we wrap it up? Is that cool? Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, uh, viewers on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, feel free to ask some questions. Um. Oh, Jonathan, we're stuck on the beer. Do we? <laughs> the beer can. <laughs> it's it's cool. It's awesome, right? That's yeah. why I wanted to own it. Yeah. I'm Do you guys have it? No, can I Google Nobody. that? Let me let me type in Spider Man beer. Yeah, you know, I, I took a photo of it at Mile High. I could send both of you guys. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see it. I, I hope it's the same that. one. I want. I want to say it was a red can, and it had like wonky. You could tell it was. It wasn't a real artist that did the the artwork for it. Here, but, Tristan, if you uh, message me on Facebook, I can put it up on the screen if you have oh, it. Right, yeah, let me send that to you right now. Yeah. All right. Uh, carry on. It's take yeah. I was going to mention about the toilet paper that you actually found some, says Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> those Venkman says those stretchy Spider-Man and Hulk toys were not future-proofed. That's why it's almost not worth no. trying to collect them at all. Yeah, they, the boxes are beat up. They leak out of them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've seen those. Um, Harrison Thompson may have owned the beer. Is Oliver someone's friend? <laughs> Possibly. Uh, let's see. I've I was so entranced in the display. I, I'm going to go through the, uh, the some comments that have been on the screen. Let's see. Uh, Matt wants to know uh, your favorite Spider-Man comic story. If it hasn't been asked, it hasn't been asked. Matt, what's uh, Marvin? What's your favorite? We'll go Tristan. All right. Well, I mean, you always go back to the kid who collected collected Spider Man. That's by Ron Frentz. Um, that right. is one of the best stories, um, in my personal opinion. And I also like the uh, "What If Uncle Ben Had Lived" uh, book. I don't know if you guys have ever read that one, but that one's really great too. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Tristan, uh, what's your favorite Spider Man story of all time? Um, I mean, there are a lot of them. I think sort of in the same vein as the. Uh, the, the kid who collected Spider-Man. I really liked the um, Chip Zdarsky sort of final issue of Spectacular mm -hmm. from a couple years ago. It was, it was very similar, but 
I think it was a very, like, for me, it's a singular issue I can give to people to say, like, this is what I like about Spider-Man. Um, yep. Spider-Man Blue by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale was really amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, in terms of what ifs, so I can give another what if. Yeah. Um, I kind of liked the what if uh, Spider-Man became the Punisher. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. As well. Yeah. Uh, Tristan just sent me the image of the beer. Let's look at the beer. There's the beer. <laughs> is that the same can, Marvin, that you were looking at? That is it. Yeah, that is it. I, yeah, that looks custom made. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Mile High Comics. Uh, I think they're a uh, hundred bucks each for each, oh, wow. each can of beer. And the and the pops aren't topped. I mean, they haven't popped them. No. That's yeah, that much. that one's definitely different. The one that I saw, the the pop was top or the top was popped on it so it's definitely different so it looks like they made more than one at least <laughs> yeah but that but that's it yeah uh there you go 100 bucks 200 dollars worth of beer <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't yeah uh john <laughs> says uh have you guys ever thought of photographing and publishing a book on your collections i'd buy that in an instance says john um, no, no not I mean, really I post a lot of photos on on instagram of it i i tried I started to try to do sort of a Spider-Man centric Instagram, but I haven't really kept up with it. Um, I probably yeah. should. Anime Hunter wants to know if you guys have anything Mary Jane related. Uh, I have um, a couple original I mean, art pages uh, with, with Mary Jane. Tristan, you got some Mary Jane stuff? Just a, like an action figure. I mean, I, I'm a big MJ fan. She's probably my favorite of Peter's love interests, but uh, outside of issues, no, I really don't. I've got a Barbie doll that was in the wedding dress of Mary Jane. I, I remember that. Uh, let's see. Um, does Tristan try to keep up with variants? Says Jonathan. Um, I no, essentially. I mean, I do buy variants depending on on if I just like the image. Um, okay. But for me, I just again, I like to consume consume the story. So usually, whatever issue my local comic shop puts in my file is what I, I pick up. Um, unless sort of, I find some in a dollar bin that are a different cover than I already have. So I can kind of add wow. to the collection. Um, and then, uh, or, you know, I've sort of got the thing. I'm sure a lot of, a lot of you guys have as well, where, um, if a new issue comes out, but I'm not at home. And so I can't get to my local comic shop. I go to a different comic shop and I try to get a variant knowing that I typically get the, the standard cover. With yeah. My full list. Um, so yeah, I mean, essentially no, but. You know, if it's a cool cover, I, I, I'll pick it up. And you could go broke buying every amazing variant. <laughs> real, yeah, I mean, real easy. When 850 came out, there were, exactly. you know, a dozen or so covers. They're 10 bucks each. Exactly. You know, really, you know. uh, JR, who's on our show, wants to know if you guys got any cool Green Goblin stuff. You know what I do? I do want to get the matching bust for the Spider-Man that oh, they yeah. did of the Green Goblin. I, I don't have that. Otherwise... Um, I really like the Marvel Select Green Goblin sort of dragging Peter behind him from. Oh, I remember uh, that. Amazing, uh, oh yeah, yeah, 39. that's that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Marvin, you got any cool Green Goblin stuff? Uh, I think I have the Green Goblin Mego. Um, I got a couple art pages with Green Goblin on it, um, but I'm pretty I'm pretty Spidey uh, focused. I. I even what, the, even the villains I don't normally collect. There was a an energized Spider Man and Green Goblin. Do, do you have the yeah. energized Green Goblin? I don't. No, I don't. Okay. I have the Spidey, yeah. I, I believe, but I don't have the uh, Green Goblin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Anime wants to know if you prefer a single or a married Spider Man. Depends on the writer. <laughs> um, I don't have a preference. <laughs> Married I mean, I, I, for me. <laughs> I definitely, I think they made the right decision. I mean, I think it really brought a lot of uh, life into the character with Brand New Day. And when, you know, you go back and you read some of the comics, specifically in the, the early to mid 90s, I don't really feel like they do Mary Jane any justice. Uh, I'm a big Mary Jane fan, but um, there's too many comics about with her being sort of a, like a henpecking wife. And I, I, I mm -hmm. think that sort of, for some reason, when they, they write them, uh, dating or single, they tend to do Mary Jane's character uh, more justice. So, yeah, a uh, big fan of the character, but I think in terms of the stories that I've read, um, single Peter Parker, first married. The uh, I think Jay Straczynski wrote the best married Spider-Man. 
That's right. I, yeah, in my opinion. Uh, Bruce brought up something. Uh, the original Punisher, uh, was it Ramita that did Amazing 129 with the first appearance of Punisher? Was I, that? I think it was Gil Kane, but Gil Kane, okay. designed the Punisher. Mm -hmm. So it's up for auction. The estimated value is $2 million. Uh, what day are you guys bidding on it? <laughs> as soon as I can find somebody to buy my collection for $2 million. <laughs> <laughs> That's an iconic I, cover, though. I don't think it'll go anywhere near $2 million personally yeah right uh let's see uh jonathan says that beer man this whole theme is about the beer i love a private brewer <laughs> made the spider-man can't say think <laughs> uh jonathan or john says i feel humbled looking at your stuff uh mike says me and marvin have the same taste on toys uh does tristan like the new run with spencer um you know, I, I, I know, Brad, it's a sore subject with you. I really liked the Dan Slot run. Uh -huh. um, I definitely think at, toward, toward the end, it was time to go in a new direction. I really do like Nick Spencer. I like a lot of the run. Um, overall, I've been probably more disappointed that I've been happy with it. Uh -huh. uh, it just seems to kind of be dragging along for me. But um, really like the art. I really like uh, the Craven stuff. Um, I'm a fan of the Kindred reveal. reveal. Um you know, mm -hmm. I, I tend to try to look at things with rose tinted glasses, specifically yeah. Spider-Man. I don't like to dislike it because life is hard enough that right. <laughs> you know, you find something you like. Um, but uh, I, I'm not super into it right now. No. Okay. And Marvin, you aren't reading current comics. I, you quit at Brand New Day. So <laughs> you're, you're, you don't have an opinion, I don't think. No. Uh, I, Lauren says, I have a uh, massive Spider-Man collection too. Great stuff, guys. Nice. Oh, Kelly wants to know, along with the wedding dress, she wants to know about uh, Spider-Girl stuff. Do you guys have any Spider-Girl Mayday Parker stuff? I do uh, not. Just, I, just the comics. Uh, I have the comics. I have the, her first appearance in What If, um, and then a, an action figure or two. On yeah. Uh, Brian wants to know, I didn't join until nine. Will this be posted as a video? Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. Uh, you guys can watch this uh, whole video uh, after we're done with it, too. Uh, Energized Green Goblin and Mego are the best, says Bruce. Uh, mm -hmm. ASM 850 had 25 covers, wow. 10 bucks a pop. That would be $250, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> and Jonathan says no on the $250. I can't afford it, so I want to buy the beer. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't get drunk on the beer and then buy $250 worth of variants. That's always a bad deal. Well, gentlemen, uh, it has been a pleasure. You guys are awesome. It is nice to meet fellow Spider-Man fans. We went 40 minutes longer than we thought <laughs> we were going to go. But wow. thank you guys for being good sports. Well, thank you, Brad, for uh, having me. Marvin, really nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. nice to meet you too. You, got, you have incredible stuff. Yeah, both of you guys are awesome. And if, they were, if the, you guys ever team up and do a book, I will buy it. <laughs> I will. I would love to see there it. There you go, Marvin. We got. We got a sale. We got one sale. I know. That's you one, have that's one. All sale. We need first one. First yeah. one's the toughest. <laughs> as soon as I get that beer from my hot comics. No. <laughs> all right. Thank you, fellas. Thank you, right, everybody, for watching. Thank you so much. Yep. We'll see you. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.